Hello Internet, I am Xenon and welcome back to the Bunny of Isaac Rebirth. So last time we finished Kane's little post-it note thing. We're now due for a challenge run though, so let's see what we've got. It's in the cards. Alright, find out what this is about. I've completely forgotten. So we get okay, tarot card thing, Joker, ah. Alright, let's let's actually have a look at the items <laughs> we've got. Is that the battery and the 9 volt and we've got the um, starter deck and deck of cards thingo. So we got a, a joker card straight off so let's use that. Because normally you can't access deal with the devil first floor. This this I see uh, going fairly well to be honest. Especially since those bombs took out the spiders for me. So let's see we got a magician card and lovers. Okay. I was always use magician against the first boss. Yeah, this this doesn't seem like such a bad challenge run. Just kind of showcasing the, uh, the synergy between deck of cards and starter deck, which I've done plenty of times before. We could fly, we could get fear shots. No big deal if we don't have it. All right, shoot these little do flackies. I think they can actually do any damage. We'll leave the spear at heart and pick it up before I go down to the next floor. Yeah, we're not an XL, so that'll help us get deal with the devil next floor if I don't get a Joker card. Stay and blow up. Yep, thought you would. Almost dodged back into that. That would have been bad. Well, we do have a tinted rock there, so let's try bomb the wall. We got. Tinted rock and a black market entrance. That is crazy. Well, Harlequin baby isn't too bad. It's got the uh, the double shots. So we'll pick that up. And we'll go back up here and we'll use Decker cards. And it is the Emperor card. Might just oh we might collect it um, actually after we beat the boss. I'm not sure how much use it's going to be to me though. But I am planning to use Magician card on the boss. It's not that good a card to begin with, so, you know, let's make the best use of it while I can. Okay, let's go bomb now. That worked. It's decent timing. Oh, and I wouldn't have bombed that if I, um, if there wasn't a Tinder drop. Just because I was going to do it anyway, why not make the most of it? So health up on the first boss room is always nice. And it's also tears up. Shot speed down isn't too great, but it can be helpful in certain situations. Usually when you have homing shots. But I would use, mostly prefer to have a, a higher shot speed. So, so there we go anyway. Yeah, collect all our spirit hearts and we head on down and then we'll find out exactly how far this run has to go. Maybe. If it says mum's heart, it might have to go further. Now it's just the mum fight. Alright, easy. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh. Kinda wish I hadn't done that. Should have shot the bomb. Load it down. Alright, any tinted rocks? We'll take Samson's lock. I think it's the same thing as uh, the bloody lust item. It's just a trinket instead. I'm not sure. I might not give you as much damage. I have to actually read up on what different trinkets do. It's uh, an area where I've never been too great at knowing. Just because there's so many. I know the the, you know, the good ones, the most popular ones, but ones you you don't often get, and you only take if you've got nothing else. Those are the ones I'm usually a little in the dark over. Should probably be using that chariot card. It's not too bad. If we use it against the boss. Make sure we don't take any red heart damage. Another key. 
Dingo. Heat chariot. I well, took him below half health. He did. Alright, he's gone. Deal with the devil and a health upgrade. See what we get. <laughs> Missing page two and ghost baby. Oh, Guppy's head. <laughs> I'll take that one. Use it and put it back down. Keep deck of cards. Okay, so the spirit of the run plus it's probably a little better to be honest. More utility out of it. Oh, pick our Emperor card back up. Not enough money to worry about the shop. So we'll continue exploring and see if we happen to find more. More Tinted Rocks would be nice. So here I took a whole heart of damage on this floor from that stupid troll bomb. Let's try bombing in here. Might be a secret room. Here it is. Let's just bomb that. We should have put it higher and gone for the uh, that dude too. Oh, we got our two bonds back anyway. One more combat room and we will get another charge on our deck of cards. These ones are flat, uh, spider generators in terms of nubs rather than um, actual spiders. Not two of hearts. Is that better or worse than the lovers? Uh, Debatable. Two of Hearts is a higher potential payout though, so we'll go with that. Basically, half a heart extra. <laughs> oh. If we happen to find another health up before I need it, could be a higher payout still. Never know. Yeah, interesting thing is, um, I'll be listening back to the audio of this video um, because my my desk has actually moved rooms so I'm not sure if we get echo um, hopefully I won't but I do I'm not sure how much I can actually do about it but I don't know cross that bridge when it comes to it tower card is trash judgment is all right hmm we'll stick with judgment for now well, it's about time we had some FPS droppage, and we did on that room. Seems to have come up a, l a little better now. I hate finding these damn things. Taken two pretty stupid hits so far, though. And lost most of my money. So I picked it up after getting hit the first time, which is stupid. Oh, well, lost all our spirit hearts, too. So there's that. Glad that didn't hurt me. Full card. Um, could be useful. You got an actual judgment. It's on the floor. So we'll give him three cents. Paid out with nothing. And the FPS is setting steady, but dropping every now and then. I'll see if I can fix it. Alright, well, I didn't really do anything, but, you know, tends to fix the FPS anyway by just waiting for a minute. I don't know why. Is it gives uh, my computer a chance to take a breath and go, oh, hang on. Isaac's stopped um, trying to do stuff for the moment. Well, we managed to do that without taking any hits, and we got a nice damage and range up. But, uh, did not get to deal with the devil. Which isn't really a surprise because we got one last floor. Third floor, you very rarely get one. I was thinking there was two um, special rooms there and one must have been a library, but no. Well, we'll do this. Let's go red chest. Spirit art is nice. Get that up before we leave the floor again. This is the chance we deal with the devil next, next floor. Oh. Yeah, this, this challenge run is playing a lot like a uh, just a normal average run. Not really feeling the, the gimmick, to be honest. This feels like a good or bad space bar item. Oh, picked it up now. Who cares? Oh, that's the floor done. Ignoring the cursor room. 
In theory, we could become Guppy, but because it's only going to the mum fight, it's not very likely. Might as well pay one more cent to the judgment, and then if he doesn't pay out, I'll blow him up. So, did you hear that? Well, apparently he didn't care. Plenty of places for the second secret room, so I won't try to bomb for it. Or the normal secret room for that matter. Alright. Took some stupid damage already. Good form. Some extra stupid damage. So, I've already taken red heart damage on this floor, I think. Deal with the devil? Not very likely. Okay, kill these guys. Quickly, please. They blow me up. Alright, he's good. Alright, they popped. Oh, okay, that room was. Yeah, you know, had, had a fair bit going on in it. Yeah, another Joker card. Okay. Um. It's judgment. We'll leave Judgment. I don't really mind if I miss uh, miss that and leave it on the floor because we're not getting enough money. With the Joker card though, I'll wait and see if we do get a deal with the devil. And then if we don't, I'll uh, drop it down. Yeah, or use it to get the deal. Just because there's no point uh, going for it. I'm using it now if we're going to get it after the boss fight anyway. Kind of a waste. I uh, use it in immediately on the first floor because you you can't get a deal with the devil anyway. I'll go up. No. Nah. Okay, we got a couple of big rooms. Also, probably found our shop. Not that it matters because how many? Kind of weird. Normally you get enough. Um, cash for at least one shot by this point. I've only had, what, four cents before this, so we would have been on six if I hadn't spent any of it. Alright. Beat all the charging bats. Make our way over to this boss room. What have we got? Hollow. It's been a while since I've actually fought the hollow in the boss room. It's really not all that hard, as you can see. No deal with the devil, so we hit this button. And it's a deal with the angel, which is... Oh no, I guess it's not weak, because they didn't take the deal with the devil. Oh, I can't be bothered going back through the rest of the floor. Very little gain we're getting out of it, so let's continue on. Oh, good shot. There is a tinted rock. Card against humanity. I know what this does. It's fairly funny. Now we get money. Um, the full card. Card against humanity though. <laughs> this this room might be worth using it on. Um, if we had a bigger room, then I'll I'll definitely use it on that. But you tend to want to use that on the biggest room possible. Oh, there's a single one. All right. Yep. Hey, how there's just unpredictable shots that come out of that. Anyway, to really dodge it just to stand further back. And that was a case of moving in the wrong direction, and I was damned no matter what I did there for the damage. It's my mistake to move upwards when I came in the room. Could go grab that half heart, can't be stuffed. 
Alright, so this will give us the uh, left hand trinket. Which turns chest into red chests. It's pretty good. Take another half heart of damage and I'll use two of hearts. But we didn't. We did get the sun cards. I'm going to pop that. That shows us what everything else is. So we went complete wrong direction. This is the biggest room on the floor, so let's just go like this. That's a card against humanity. Makes the room full of poop. <laughs> oh, we're not getting many payouts. It, it helps if you have the lucky rock thing. Oh, the shop's worth it now. That's, that's man the reason you do it, to get the, the money. If you're short on time though, trying to get a boss rush or something though, it doesn't tend to help. Interesting that the poop doesn't appear where the uh, rocks are, or rocks were, that have been destroyed. The old spear art does indeed help. So we keep doing this. Ah, oh, there's the petrified poop now. I couldn't have appeared, you know, earlier in that room. Oh well. Head off down this way. And do we want to use a key or a bomb to access our shop? Probably a bomb. Well, now we do have more keys. But oh well. Faster this way. Blue map is nice. I should have. Oh, there's one cent. Let's blow this guy up. I was thinking, I was about to say I should have got there's options because that's better. But we got both. Oh, FPS is starting to take a hit again. I might do some more searches on how to fix it. It's everything I've tried so far. You know, it makes it good for a while, but it, it dies again. And it starts going up and down. Yeah, I, I've got my um, CPU processing open, and it, it it does tend to just skyrocket at one point, you know, for some unknown reason. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll give it a break again and see if I can fix it. All right, we'll see how we go. Changed the setting in Fraps, told it not to um, lock my FPS, so I'm not sure if that'll have any input, but we'll see. Usually all it would do then, um, with that, at least what I understand it does, is just locks it to 60, doesn't let it go over. It doesn't do anything about dropping it below. But, I think by the device I only runs in 60 anyway, so... Damn it. Well, we haven't taken red heart damage yet. That doesn't matter apparently, but we'll take growth hormones, speed and damage. And I can't be stuffed with the rest of the floor. Usual drill. So, here we go. Should be the last floor of the run. Alright, chariot card is better than the full card. Probably go back in there and uh, access the secret room. Celtic Cross has triggered. Now let's run away again. Let's be careful about that. Shouldn't have put a bomb down. <laughs> oh well. Head down this way anyway. Bomb this wall. Fit Penny, Fortune, keep the chariot. So we do have a double key room. To re roll the, the run type thing, I'll probably take it. It isn't a re roll the run, um, it's a re roll the something. Maybe items on the floor or stuff like that. Yep, 
Let's reroll that chest and also that card. Let's do that to a heart. You can end up popping that. Alright, we got through there. Unscathed. Not this room. This room we're taking mega damage. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Well, we're heading the right direction. That's nice to know. Alright. That was kind of risky, but paid out. But damn it. Bloody bullet. One thing you don't see or look at is the one thing that hurts you. Alright. I just drop a. Oh no, I shot it. Oh well, at least we killed two of the zombies. Should be fine anyway with the two of hearts and a chariot card. Blue mum though. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright. Why do I have to get the hard bomb on a challenge run? Just goad the hand out so I could shoot it. Half, isn't it? So we're used to our hearts. Do that little trick to go to the hand while it can't hit me. And there we go. We win. So many spirit hearts. Take them all. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that counted. That came out of there pretty quick. Yeah, it's in the cards, it's done. There's four, five, six challenge runs left. Seven. It's Suicide King. Anyway, we're, we're getting there. We're past halfway. Anyway, it was fun. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.